everybody, it's Gil. Welcome back to another Grilling Tuesday. Forgive me, the light's not great here. It's uh, sun's getting ready to set. But today, we are making an awesome side dish. Charred Brussels sprouts. A few people asked, do you ever use the gas grill portion of this Pit Boss Pro Series combo? Part of the beauty of this whole unit is the fact that it's a pellet smoker on one side, gas grill on the other, and a side burner um, next to that. So it kind of has all of the things you might need. And we do certainly use the gas grill portion as well, just not quite as often as we love to smoke stuff. But this is something perfect for the gas grill. You know how when you go to a restaurant and you order Brussels sprouts and they come out and they're smoky and they're crispy and they got a little char on them and they're soft and tender on the inside and they're just phenomenal. You try and replicate it at home and it's just not the same. Well, we're gonna do our best to get exactly like that restaurant quality sort of charred Brussels sprout. And I gotta promise you, this is not your grandma's mushy boiled Brussels sprouts only with some salt on them. If you've ever tried to grill Brussels sprouts before, you probably were left a little bit disappointed. They might have been overcharred and a little crunchy in the middle. I know in my past experience that's what it was, but I found a way to do this. Uh, it takes a couple of extra steps, but it makes them really, really good. We're going to start with about a pound and a half to two pounds of Brussels sprouts. You want to get good, fresh Brussels sprouts. You want them to be nice and green. You don't want them to be wilted on the side. And it's really simple. You're going to start by trimming just a very small amount of the, uh, the root off of it, and then just cut them in half. You want these to be about an inch or so in diameter, maybe a half inch to three quarters of an inch thick. Not much more than that. So if you have a really large Brussels sprout like this, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to trim just the very end of that, but we don't want to disassemble the entire root because we want it to help hold all the leaves together. And in this one, I'm going to cut it, oh, about a third of the way through. I'm going to turn it on its side and then cut that. So I end up with three pieces on those really large ones. If you find some of these leaves like this, just toss them right in there. When you, um, when you char these, they're going to get a little bit more done than all the rest, and it gives a really nice alternating texture to the overall dish. Now I'm doing this outside because it's another gorgeous day down here in southwest Florida. So here's the trick. We've got all of these sitting in a little bowl here so we can toss them around. And here's how these things get really done perfectly. We're going to parboil them. So on the side burner of the grill, I have a uh, pot and a little Dutch oven going with a lid on it. I've got the flame up on high, bringing it up to a boil, and we're going to boil these for about five minutes. That's it. We don't want to go a minute longer than five minutes. And the reason we're doing that is we want them to get soft and tender on the inside, almost done. So when we put them on the grill and we char them on the outside, they're going to be partially charred, but that inside is going to be soft and tender and delicious. And then we're going to toss them in a nice little seasoning as we finish them, drizzle them with some olive oil, add a couple of interesting little uh, accommodations that make it a little bit better for sure. Let's go ahead and get these tossed into the water and we're going to boil them five minutes only. So as I mentioned before, this is the beauty of the grill and I've had this going for a few minutes. <laughs> it's hot, so I'm using one of my wife's gardening gloves. You can see it's boiling there. We are just going to go ahead and pour in these Brussels for five minutes only. While those are out on the grill boiling, I'm now going to take a large bowl and I'm going to prepare our tossing mix that we're going to toss and season the Brussels sprouts in before we char them in the grill. I've said before, I love to do recipes where we do uh, parts in, or proportions instead of actual measurements. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to use one part onion powder, one part garlic powder, one part salt. And doing that allows me to keep this really, really simple. I'll add a couple more ingredients in just a minute. I've just put the onion powder in and I'm about to do the same with the salt now. So for me, parts in this particular case are about a teaspoon each. So a teaspoon of garlic, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of onion powder. Now if you have a favorite seasoning you like to put on something, by all means, go ahead. We really enjoy one of these, so I'm just going to pop that on there, but you use the favorite one for your household. I'm just going to mix this up. I didn't bring something to mix it with, so yep, I'm doing the old finger mix, but that's all right. Let's go back to the grill. I just heard the timer go off. We want to pull those Brussels sprouts out. It's been right at five minutes. So as I mentioned, we want to go five minutes only. We just want to get these out of here and put them right into that bowl we just added our seasonings to. Hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a bunch, man, appreciate it. I've got my Brussels in here and all we want to do is toss these around a little bit. If you're not comfortable doing that, by all means, just use a, uh, use a spoon or a spatula to do this. You just want to be gentle because they're a little bit I just dropped one on the ground. And again, these are par cooked. They already have good flavor with this mix in it. Let's go ahead and get this on the grill. All right, so we've got our little grill pan in here and we are just gonna add these right in there. 
This is exactly what you want. We want a little bit of that oil to char some of these up. Right, so it's been another three to four minutes. We're just going to toss these over. I'm going to turn up the heat a little higher on this. And this is exactly what we want to see. They're charring nicely on the bottom. See that? Perfect. All right, so we have the same bowl we used to toss the Brussels sprouts in, and that's what we're gonna end up using to put them back in and serve them. Let me go ahead and open this up. Again, same sort of thing here. We're just wanting to flip these around a little bit. Yeah, they're sticking a little bit, so that's good. They're getting nice and charred down there. Ah, perfect. Exactly what we wanna see. Give this about three more minutes and these will be done. Typically, they're gonna take about 10 to 12 minutes or so. That's it. Uh, again, pretty simple recipe. Trim and cut each of the Brussels sprouts into small pieces. Parboil them for five minutes, no longer, five minutes. Scoop them out, put them back in a bowl that you made a, a quick little seasoning mixture. Uh, one part salt, one part garlic, one part onion powder, a little extra seasoning if there's a specific one you like, and then two parts olive oil. And for me, each of these parts was about a half a teaspoon, so not a whole lot. Once you do that, you put those Brussels sprouts right into it, toss it around, and then you want to put them on the grill on a nice medium to high heat. We're really wanting to get them charred and get a little bit of that flavor infused in them. They are partially cooked, so this additional 10 to 12 is going to make them just perfect. All right, these are looking good. We're going to take them out and put them right in this bowl. Looks good. All right, we've got our Brussels here, and here's as simple as it is to finish them up. Take a good olive oil, and if you have a flavored olive oil or a finishing oil, that's gonna be best. You just wanna put a light drizzle of olive oil on them. You can salt and pepper to taste. And if you wanna kick them up a little bit, put some bacon crumbles or even some fresh grated Parmesan cheese on it. Certainly makes these pretty good. I've got some bacon crumbles here. We'll put some of these on it. We've made Brussels sprouts as a side dish quite a bit, and we've done everything with them from, you know, simple grandma's Brussels sprouts, boiled, mushy ones that nobody sort of cares for, all the way up to really kind of making them uh, a little extraordinary. We've done them with heavy cream and a cheese sauce that takes any possible health benefit of these things away, but they're delicious, I'll tell you that. All right, so we've got these guys. As you can see, Nice and green on one side, charred on the other. Let's give these things a shot. Mm. Primo, these are good. Soft and tender on the inside, good charred grilled flavor on the outside. Um, they are absolutely delicious. So we're gonna end this video because this is the side dish for our family dinner tonight. I'm gonna take it on inside and we're gonna have that and enjoy it. If you've been enjoying these videos and we've earned your subscription, we'd love to have you go ahead and click on the subscribe button and click on the little notification bell. That way you'll get notified anytime we upload new videos. Certainly hope to have you back. Uh, I always enjoy hearing comments down below. If there's any vegetables you cook on the grill or on the smoker, love to hear what they are. I'm always looking for new ideas and new things to try with our family. So please do leave a note down in the comments on something you've cooked on the grill from a vegetable perspective. I know so many people, it's all about burgers and steaks and chicken and pork. And uh, you know, I think we have an opportunity to do some really cool stuff in here. And these charred Brussels sprouts is one of those examples. Great side dish for anything you're making. All right, everybody, we'll talk to you later. I'm about to go chow down on some of these Brussels sprouts as one of our family side dishes tonight, and we'll see you next Tuesday for another grilling smoking video. Bye, y'all. Have fun grilling. See ya. Probably better bring these in or I'm gonna eat them all before the family gets any. That wouldn't be so cool. <laughs>